guys, it's time for another Doctor Who review. This time I'm reviewing Doctor Who Series 9, Episode 12, titled Hellbent. If you haven't seen the episode yet and you want to avoid any spoilers, you're going to want to skip this video and come back later because everything I say from this point forward is going to be a spoiler. Seriously, if you haven't seen the episode yet, turn off the video right now and go watch it because it was awesome. Hellbent, in my opinion, was the perfect Doctor Who episode. It was everything I possibly could have asked for in Clara's farewell. There were loads of callbacks to previous episodes of Doctor Who, previous eras of Doctor Who, beginning in, in the very beginning with the same diner from The Impossible Astronaut where the 11th Doctor and River and Rory and Amy were all there after the Doctor's death death at the hands of the impossible astronaut, aka River Song, which is a great bit of foreshadowing because River is appearing in the next episode, which is the Christmas episode. There was so much to love in this episode from the, the firing squad intentionally missing and not shooting the doctor and turning sides, to the doctor exiling the Lord President, to the doctor's moral crisis where even his own mother tells him that he's violating every code he's ever had. Because I'm pretty sure that that time lady who called him out and she was like, young man, and he, you know, come out here, and he had to leave the TARDIS and... You know, uh, Clara's like, young man, what's that all about? That, that had to have been the doctor's mother, I would think. All the way through to the very end, where Clara and me, they have their own TARDIS now, and they're going on their own adventure, and Clara is just living between heartbeats. She's going to have to go back to Gallifrey to get put back into her own timeline at some point, but she's going to take the long way around. Talking about the hybrid, that's the whole, this whole thing kind of revolves around the hybrid and the Time Lords wanting to find out what exactly the Doctor knows about the hybrid. And he basically, he bluffed his way through the entire last episode in order to orchestrate this entire scenario to save Clara, which is a genius bit of writing because I didn't see that coming. I, I, I didn't see this bluff and the Doctor actually orchestrating it and being kind of the maestro of this. The entire last episode, the Doctor seemed to me like he was very reactionary as opposed to actionary, but no, he figured everything out really, really quickly, a lot quicker than we thought he did, and he used it to his advantage in order to bring Clara back. And I just loved that. I thought it was awesome. We do find out a lot about the hybrid in this episode, and all of the possibilities that, that they mention, all of them involve the Doctor, whether it's the Doctor himself is the hybrid, or it's the Doctor and Missy, or the Doctor and me, or the Doctor and Clara. There's all these different possibilities. So I don't really think that what is the hybrid, who is the hybrid, it doesn't really feel like that has been fully solved or explained yet. So I do expect that to come back later. The music in this episode, the music was amazing. From the guitar cover of Clara's theme, which was gorgeous, it was a beautiful song, all the way through the Doctor theme. And there was actually a callback to, I think, some of the Tenth Doctor's music in there too. I, I think I caught some of that. So there's a lot of really interesting stuff going on with the music. And of course, the classic TARDIS, another callback to prior versions of Who, back to the, the original TARDIS console and everything. I thought that was awesome. But my favorite moment came near the end of the episode when Clara reverses the polarity in the memory device and they decide they're going to do it together because the Doctor's not convinced that she was able to do it or that she actually pulled it off. And it seems like Clara's, at that point, she isn't convinced that she successfully did it. So they do it together. And the Doctor gets his memory deleted and which I, I think was the perfect way to go with this because I think it sets him up perfectly for the next companion. Because remember how, how long it took the 11th Doctor to overcome the loss of Amy and Rory. I think this Doctor kind of needed a catalyst to make him okay with welcoming a new companion in coming in next series. And just narratively speaking, it, having that in there, having that built into the story, it opens up. They don't have to spend a whole lot of time next next series, you know, 
with the Doctor working through his issues about welcoming in a new companion. Okay, episode 12 was the series finale of series 9. The Christmas episode is basically a standalone episode, so series 9 is done, and I really thought we were going to get more Missy in this series. I thought she might have made an appearance in, in this episode, and she didn't. I gotta think she's going to be coming back in series 10, because she's teamed up with the Daleks at this point, and we have no idea what's going on with her. So I gotta think that's going to play a major part in series 10. I'm really excited to see where they go with this. I'm excited excited to meet the new companion. I am going to miss Clara. I know a lot of people didn't really care for Clara. She really kind of grew on me uh, as time went on. It was really kind of an impossible situation for Jenna Louise Coleman following up two very beloved ca uh, companions in Amy and Rory, but I think she did a great job with what she was given, and I am going to miss her, so thank you, Jenna Louise Coleman, for all the work you put in on Doctor Who. So what do you think? Maybe a, a Clara slash me spinoff series? Maybe even a spinoff special? I would be totally down for that. I would love to know what you guys think. Let me know down in the comments. Also, if I missed anything, if there's something you think I should have mentioned that I didn't, or if I got something wrong, let me know down in the comments and we can discuss it. Also, if you enjoyed this video, and I really hope you did, be sure to let me know by clicking that like button and subscribe for more reviews. Thank you very much for watching, and I will see you next time.